pleasant good day to all my fans located throughout the globe. It is indeed my ongoing pleasure and honor to stand before you on a weekly basis to share a good word with you. And our normal approach we will engage in by sharing a motivational word followed by the presentation and reminding you of our services. And our motivational word for today is that there is a saying that everyone loves a winner, but everyone will not be a winner. So, my simple motivational message for you, whether you win or lose, do it graciously. Whether you win or lose, do it graciously. Because if you lose in a gracious manner, you too will be a winner. I remind you, if you lose in a gracious manner, you too will be a winner. And if you win in an ungracious manner, you certainly will end up a loser. So reflect on the word, think about it, and allow the principle to guide you so that you will always operate in a dignified manner in the quest for that elusive victory. So welcome to the channel, and as usual, in our customary style, I, Emo Ramesses Bakari, your psychologist and life coach. It is my desire for you to go higher. It is my desire for you to go higher so that you can unleash your fire. That's my desire. So welcome again to our channel. And as usual, remind you of our services, our ongoing courses, our four-week course entitled The Fundamentals of Psychology, costing $1,800 to the general public, $1,200 to students. Remind you of our ongoing course, The Fundamentals of Psychology, costing $3,800. You can make a one-part payment, or we are so interested in you participating, we can arrange a four-part payment system. Or we can also engage you in a course entitled The Mastering Emotional Intelligence and Becoming Emotionally Resilient. That course costs $2,500 to the general public, $1,800 to students, and in groups of five, you pay $7,500, benefiting from a discount of $1,000, where you actually pay $1,500 per head. You can also buy our book conversation, price of $100, $15 United States dollars, or $45 EC dollars. You can also contribute via our YPA link on the description page, or you can call or email us to book a counseling or coaching appointment. All you need to do is call us at 1-866-778-5141, 2544 or email us at leadershipwithadifference at gmail.com. So in keeping with the motivational word where I said you must win or lose graciously, the, the question today, are you a winner or a whiner? There is a saying, Cliché saying as it is, but very relevant, very pertinent, that a winner is never a quitter. As long as you keep on trying, there is a possibility that you will win. Of course, if you continue to whine and pine and grind without realizing that victory can be realized, you certainly will end up being a loser. Because the more you whine, the more you dilute the focus and intensity of your forward march. Remember, failures are part of the course of development for success. So welcome your failures, learn from your failures, keep the course and ensure that you are a winner. As I said in the motivational world, do it graciously. What exactly is winning? Now, most of us will simply define it as the person who comes out on top, whether it's in a class exam, whether it's in the 100 meter final, 200 meters, 400 meters, 800 meters, 1500 meters, pole vault, long jump, whether it's a, a Guinness Book of Record attempt in terms of uh, staying underwater for as long as you can, all of these things, if you come out on top, you will be considered a winner. But remember to win, there's a long process involved in winning. As I said in many presentations, you need coaches, 
You need, uh, as an athlete, proper nutrition. You need the right kind of equipment. You need the right kind of opportunities to participate in athletic meets. All right? All in all, you know, winning is nice. But we must not only look at those who come out on top. Because if society as a whole, if organizations as a whole are to really fulfill and manifest their true potential, there must be many winners. Everyone must be a winner. And if everyone must be a winner, those who win must see it as a responsibility to help develop future winners so that that organization, that athletic club, that cricket team will continue to produce champions. But in producing champions who are determined to win, remember the outward manifestation of winning. As I said, there are a lot of follow-up things, backup things to support it. But the main point I would like to make to you, to achieve that outward victory, first of all, you must win the internal game. Winning the internal game is an important starting point for you to actually manifest the physical manifestation of that victory. So Usain Bolt was a master athlete, probably one of the best ever. Some people certainly rate him as the GOAT, greatest of all time. Brian Lara was a champion batsman, one of the best of all times. Serena Williams certainly revol revolutionized the sport of lawn tennis. She created doors for particularly African people across the globe, Asian people, and persons who are generally viewed as the dispossessed and those who came from parts of the world who were normally not associated with playing the sport. So I would like to salute her contribution to the game. But as we all know, sometimes she was not the most gracious winner. And that probably was a little, you know, uh, uh, stain on the greatness that she achieved. Because as I said in the motivational world, we must win or lose graciously. But that is not to take away at all from the phenomenal athlete she was and the contribution that she made to lawn tennis. And certainly, she, like La Brian Lara, like Usain Bolt, like LeBron James, or any other champion athlete, or any other champion in any other discipline, they will have all won the inner game. So you must first win the inner game. And when we are supported after winning the inner game with the necessary resources, certainly victory will be ours. So we need more people to be victorious. But to be victorious, do not quit. To be victorious, keep on growing and developing. To be victorious, continue working as part of a network. To be victorious, get everyone on a common page, sharing a common philosophy, totally aligned with the mission and vision of organizations and working together as a team. But my main, main message that I'm emphasizing, let the internal victory occur and then the necessary external support will ensure that victory is yours, that victory is mine, because everyone loves a winner. But as I said in the motivational world, we must win with grace. Because when we do not win with grace, we put a stain on the sweet taste of victory. In other words, a sweet victory now becomes bitter. So do not allow a sweet victory to become bitter in the minds and hearts of those who witness it. So continue to think of pushing forward, lessen the whining, lessen the complaining, keep on plugging, keep on going, but you must never stop in the quest to win that race. Whether it's in class, whether it's on the athletic field, whether it's on the cricket pitch, wherever you are striving for victory, keep on going, keep on going, keep on developing, and most importantly, let grace be your guiding philosophy so that people can feel proud of your character as you won or as you lose. So I know the message resonated with you. And the message having resonated with you, you will ensure that you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share and comment on the video, and of course your support. We know 
that your support is guaranteed because we will ensure that this channel becomes victorious over time. So give us a call at 1-866-778-5141, 1-866-779-254, Book an appointment for a coaching or counseling session. Buy our book conversations, priced at 100 TT dollars, 45 EC, or 15 United States dollars. Or you can partake in one of our ongoing courses. We will be victorious with your support because we are part of the infinite consciousness according to the Zulu Declaration of 1825. You are in me, I am in you. And certainly, together, we will be victorious. So we continue for your support. We expect your call. We expect your email. And in the meantime, between times, stay tuned for another powerful presentation next week. Please call.